I always feel like I should pose a specific way, like a really awkward, uh, I'm just going to like frame my face every time. <laughs> it's like, it's counting down and then you like don't know what to do with your life. Um, I, so I promised you guys that I would go live today at eight o'clock with my colleague and friend Mala. But the bad news is, is that a family emergency came up with uh, came up for Mala, so she's not going to be able to join me tonight. But we are working as we speak. Well, actually, we're trying. We'll be working tomorrow to figure out a time where she can get on here and talk to you guys and talk about her amazing story and her, you know, where she comes from. She's freaking amazing. Like this woman is. I'm like slamming things down. She's like trained by Oprah Winfrey's life coach. She's so cool. Hey, Mary, how are you? Um, so I promise you guys that she will be on here because she's in high demand and uh, we will be talking, uh, we will be kind of doing a back and forth within the next few days. But I do want to say this. I want to, I, I did have some things that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing any, any of you. Okay. Um, I wanted to share an insight which is about, really about this whole idea of getting on the island and burning the boat. Um, when I went to LA, was it last weekend already? Was it like two weekends ago? Holy, it was two weekends ago. Oh my gosh, it was so long ago. Okay, so <laughs> when I went to LA, I spent like a entire weekend in a room filled with amazing, inspiring people. But the thing that I, I feel like the one thing, the main thing that I took away aside from follow your dreams and all of that jazz, you know, we could sit there and say that all day, is that if you really want to be uh, the person, this person that you're dreaming of every single day, and you really want to step into whatever it is, like, do you want more time to create art? Do you want more money to go on those lavish vacations? Do you want more money just to, like, I don't know, buy an engagement ring for your woman? Like, I don't know what it is that you want, but you the you know the main thing that we always want is time and money right we always want more time to spend uh with our with our loved ones or doing the things that fulfill us and we always want more money to be able to give back or to be able to treat ourselves like treat show stuff this is a scarf i'm, I'm throwing this scarf <laughs> um but here's one thing that i wanted to share with you just as a quick tip um on basically how I've stepped, I've started to step into recently doing the things that I felt called to do, like dancing on Facebook Live like a complete like crazy person, and dancing in the park, and um, you know jumping out of trees. Like I'm taking beginner parkour classes. Like it's like crazy. So listening, like the things that I, the the thing that I've done that's been most useful in creating more time and money for myself is getting on the island and burning the bridge. And what I mean by that is saying, and you guys have heard me say this a million, quadrillion, gazillion times, which is listen to your heart. Let your let your ego do the yeah buts, right? So like, I want to be a dancer. Yeah, but you haven't danced in five years. Or I want to be, uh, I want to have more money. Oh, but yeah, but rich people are like mean and evil. Or, you know, you, so listen to your heart. Step into it. Hear the yeah, but, but say screw you, yeah, but, because you're not helping me right now. And step into what your heart wants. But here's the thing. Here is the catch. Write a contract with yourself and say, you're gonna, like, I'm going to do this. And if I don't do this, I'm going to give myself a punishment. I'm not even kidding. I'm a piece of Positivity Studios, and I'm telling you, like, I own a company called that, and I'm telling you to give yourself a punishment. All right, I'm not even kidding. It helps me so much step into the person that I wanted to be. Like before I went to LA, here's a new one that I've done for myself. I wanted to meditate every single morning before I even got my day started. Guys, I start my day at like 5.30 in the morning just to get to yoga. Like that was already my schedule. So like waking up even earlier than, than that or like that just sounded crazy to me. So I said, okay, I want to meditate for 30 minutes every single morning, like rise, pee, meditate. I've said it in my last like five videos. So you guys should be familiar with this by now. 
is, so I, I said that I want to do that. And I stepped into my heart and that's what I wanted to do. And then I said, okay, this is non-negotiable along with a couple other things that I wanted to do, like dance in the park, which I haven't done yet. I have 90 days to get all of this stuff done. Um, which includes what, uh, dance in the park, upload some videos that you guys have yet to see. There's some like secret videos floating around that you haven't seen. Um, meditate every morning for 30 minutes. And there's another one that I'm missing. Um, I will say like being gluten and dairy free is on, is on my like thing of things that I'm supposed to be doing for myself. But my punishment is now this is a gossipy punishment, I have to say. So um, my punishment is, is that if I do not do this, this thing, like if I don't wake up every single morning and the first thing I do is meditate. Hey, Jasmine, I'm so glad you found me. I was like, I didn't know how to post the link. I was just like, I, I didn't technology. <laughs> Thank you. I love you too. You're just so, you're just so, <laughs> you're amazing. You're amazing. I wish I could do that back to you, but I just like don't know how to do that. Do you guys see like Jasmine just liking everything? <laughs> so Jasmine, I'm going to catch you up. I'm going to catch you up really quickly. All right. You're distracting me. Now I can't concentrate. There's so much love pouring in. I'm talking about getting on the island and burning the bridge. And what I mean by that is like whatever you do, you know what I'm saying? Like when you hear your heart saying you want to do something like, I don't know, Jasmine, what's something you want to do in your life? Like, do you want to oh, eat healthier? I don't know what you want to do. Do you want to uh, get a promotion? I don't, I don't know what you want to do. But um, listen to your heart. Then, hey, Rachel, oh my gosh, there's so many amazing people here. I'm so excited about it. Um, <laughs> listen to your heart. Hear your ego. Say, okay, whatever, ego. Like, I'm so done with you. Uh, you're not being helpful and step into your heart. But if you basically you're committing and kind of creating a contract with yourself to say, if I don't do this thing that I my heart like that, I totally desire to do and I totally want to become this person or do this thing, I am giving myself a punishment. And I, I think this is so ironic because I I own a company called a piece of positivity studios. And I'm telling you to punish yourself. I'm hey, Catherine. Um, but the thing, so like it's been drum roll, I haven't told you guys. The thing that I really, that has really helped me step into it is this idea of like, if I don't do this thing, then I have to do this other really scary thing. So basically I'm making my goals absolutely, completely and utterly non-negotiable. So it's been since LA, what has it been like 13, 12 or 13 days? I have not missed a single day of meditation. Rise P, meditate for 30 minutes. And that is because I've created a, a thing, a like, if I don't do this, I have to do this. So here's my thing. Are you ready? This is me being really vulnerable and really open with you guys. And um, actually, I'm going to postpone it just a little longer and say, you know what your punishment is for not doing the thing that is on your heart. So like, you know what the thing is that is on your heart. Like you want to spend more time painting. You want to eat healthier. You want to quit your job, whatever it is. I don't know what it is for you. You know what that is. And you also know what your punishment should be. And I'm talking about like the punishment, like whatever comes up and you're like, Oh, don't want to do that. Don't even want to verbalize that. Don't want anyone to know that that could be a punishment for me because I really don't want to do that. That's your punishment. That's the one you should choose. And so here is mine. All right. So my non-negotiable one, which I will never, ever fail at my goal because of this, is I have to, if I don't meditate every single morning for 30 minutes every single morning, I have to text my, like one of my ex-boyfriends and tell him I want him back. Nobody wants that, right? Nobody wants that. Do you want to text your ex and tell them you want them back? Absolutely not. I'm sure you don't. Well, it depends. I don't know. Maybe that's actually what your heart wants. If your heart wants that, text them. I don't know. But <laughs> um, it could be anything. I had, there's one wonderful woman who, if she doesn't record her podcast every Tuesday and Thursday at 1 p.m., she, she has this, like, luscious, gorgeous, like, long model-esque hair and she if she doesn't record her podcast 
on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 1 p.m. At 1 p.m., like there, she has to be sitting there and recording at 1 p.m. She will shave her head. Like this is the type of punishment I'm talking about. Now, with that being said, text your, yeah, I'm not even kidding. Hence why I have yet <laughs> to miss a single day of meditation and I have not missed a single day of visualization, all right? Catherine, yeah, this is for realsies, punishment, serious, non-negotiable, not negotiable at all. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> wow, hey, Mr. DeVore. Gosh, I don't even know if I should call you that. Hey, Ethan. <laughs> um, so I'm talking about uh, getting on the island and bur burning the bridge. Um, <laughs> And so my, so if I don't complete this goal, I have to punish myself in some way. And um, it's something that is totally, that I will never do in a million years. So AKA this goal is not gonna, I'm not gonna fail at it ever. Absolutely ever, ever, ever. And Catherine, actually, I wanna know, actually all of you guys, I wanna know what your punishment would be and also what you you wanna step into. Like what what is like calling you right now? Like do you, I'm always giving like really weird examples. Like, do you want to get more sleep? <laughs> do you want to get be more creative? Do you want to be more intuitive? Um, what is it that you really, really want? Um, I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> hey, hey. Um, so um, anyway, so the, I have this like punishment. Get on the island, burn the boat. I always say bridge. I don't know. Burn the boat and the bridge. And like, get rid of the life vest because you're not leaving the island. <laughs> you're definitely not leaving the island. So once you kind of sign that contract with yourself, I actually have like uh, a sheet of paper that says like, these are all my goals. These are the deadlines for my goals. And if I don't, um, if I don't meet them, I'm going to do this. And I have a signature and a date. So like, it's a contract. It's formal. And I, I mean, I even shared it with all of you guys. So. Um, and I've got people in my life making sure that that like people in my life that will definitely make me do my punishment if I don't step into my goal, um, into doing whatever my heart is telling me to do. So that is one thing. And then um, the other thing after you get over the punishment, because I think the punishment actually is like the the thing that's going to like scare the shit out of you and make you do it is um, is the reward. So for me, it's like if I achieve all of the success, what is like the craziest, most like amazing reward I can think of? And for me currently, this is a crazy one. This is like, uh, I don't know why it's so crazy, but for me it's crazy, is if I achieve all of this, if I meditate every single, every single morning for 30 minutes, the whole way through my 90 days, and I upload all of these really, like these really vulnerable vi videos that are like, uh, kind of floating around in cyberspace that nobody knows about. If I upload those to YouTube for you guys to watch, if I um, dance in the park at least once, um, dance intuitively at least once a week. I've got like a whole list of things that my heart is like, you have to do these things. You have to be creative. You have to step into your calling. Um, if I do all of those things, I, ladies and gentlemen, will be going to Germany. That is what I want to do. So that's my reward. But um, so if you, it's kind of like get on the island, burn the bridge, and then fly out to Germany afterwards. <laughs> That's what I really want to do. Um, I want to know what you, I really want to know what it is that you guys, <laughs> what it is that you guys are feeling called to do. I, I feel like I don't ever get to hear what it is that you, like what's calling you in life. What is it that you're waking up in the morning and feeling like, gosh, I just, I just need to do more of this. I have a lot of friends who are, you know, creatives, you know, I guess obviously because I'm a creative as well. And they're constantly telling me things like, oh man, I really wish I, you know, spent more time in the studio or had more time to spend in the studio. I really wish that I could afford more than just bread this month. Like what, you know, I really, like there's these things that you hear yourself say, like I, I wish this, I wish I had more time for this, I wish I had more money for that. I I I feel this urge like when a song comes on to dance and I'm not stepping into that. I'm like smothering my own authenticity as it comes up. Um, I wanna know what that is for you. I wanna hear it. And and I say this 
to also get, encourage you to step into who you want to be and to you know hear what your heart says. Give yourself that punishment. Like commit to it. Give yourself the punishment if you don't do it, and step into a life that seems really scary ahead of time and really difficult. But actually, I promise you, once you're in it, it's a lot easier than you think it is. Like <laughs> I, I'm. I'm so far into my 30 minute every morning meditation that it's actually starting to become habit. And it's not even like, I don't even think about it. It's not like, Oh, I'm so tired like this. I can see the trickle effect. First of all, that I'm getting to bed earlier because I don't want to be tired to meditate for 30 minutes. Cause I'm just stuck there. And I'm like, I'm tired. Like, you know, like kids, the babies with their necks, they're just, I <laughs> like, don't know how else to describe that. Just like show you. Um, but um, it just becomes easier once you step into it. And my days go so much better when I'm doing the things that my heart called me to do. Like when I was dancing the other night, like for you guys on Facebook Live, I the amount of endorphins that were released, it released the amount of excitedness and happiness that I just felt from being who I am without like fear of judgment because I was I was falling in love with myself as I was doing it. Like it sounds so hard and so scary to like do something like that, but you fall in love with yourself when you do it, and it's so reaffirming and it's so exciting to be in that place that you don't care it's so much easier than being in a place of worry or in a place of lack anyway um i'm gonna go i i wanted to share that tip with you guys because i found it extremely extremely helpful and um <laughs> and i did want to invite you guys to a free online training that i'm going to be doing with mala who you guys did not get to see you tonight. I'm so sad about it, but I promise you, you will get to meet her soon. We're going to be doing a Facebook live together. It's going to be really cool, like interview style. Like I'm going to be on like one side of the screen and she's going to be like over there. Cause we're like in completely different parts of the country or not country, but we're in different cities. Um, and so you'll get to meet her who is, she is trained. I'm like going to say this a million times. She is trained by Oprah Winfrey's life coach. She is so cool. And she's like the finance guru. So like I can help you with your dreams. She can help you make sure that they happen in a financial, you know, on the financial side of things. We're like, we're like beautiful puzzle pieces that just like intertwine into beautiful flowers. I don't, I don't know. I'm getting all weird on you. <laughs> but um, so you'll get to meet her in the next couple of days. But I do want to invite you to the free online training that I'm doing with her on June 13th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There is only, I think, actually, I got another not notification. Hold on. There is only, making sure my numbers are right here. There are only 26, 27, 26 or 27 spots left in the training. So that's not that many. So if you want to join me next week, next Tuesday at 7, and really delve into, like, what your heart is calling you to do and how you're going to get there, I would definitely go grab your spot. Um, I've got the link over, wait, this way? I don't know which way <laughs> it is, but I've got it. And so you can grab your spot, um, one of those 27 spots that are left uh, now or then or right after this video. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's always so much fun to see you and spend time with you and um, hear all about you know, what's going on in your life, as well as your reactions. Today, guys, you were crazy with all of your loves and likes. <laughs> like distractingly crazy. I was like, there's more? What's happening? <laughs> um, so I really appreciate the love and I uh, appreciate you, you know, stopping by and watching. Okay. I will see you tomorrow because um, I am doing a countdown to celebrate this free online training that's going to be happening. So today we have six days left. Tomorrow's going to be five. I'm really, really excited. So <laughs> bye.